Oh, hi everyone. This is JVs here and I'm going to do the vlog update. I mean channel update that features Honkai Star Rail. So, this is the first episode of me doing the Stellar Warp Warp Time Stain video, but this time I'm not gonna do it this time. Maybe in the next Stellar Warp video or the next episode of it. Even though I have like 67 normal Star Rail Pass and such 13,000 Stellar Jade. But I will remind you that getting this Stellar Jade is not that easy to get. The main purpose of having such a large amount of Stellar Jade is to use for the purpose of doing some warp times 10 by using the special star rail pass that this is used to recruit some some certain characters such as jing yu one who is just only appear in this in his own banner called swirl of heavenly spear yes this one is exclusive character pool it happens in zila's banner when Zila's banner is expired, she is not appearing in the Stellar Warp. As you can see, this is the proof that Zila and even Jing Yuan not appearing in this banner for the Stellar Warp. Also including the 5 star light cones that feature Zila's and Jing Yuan's are not appearing as well. It's just only like 7 5 star characters and 7 5 star light cones. But the purpose of this making this Taylor Warp Summon series or gacha or whatever is that. There is something called additional rewards. This one. This is the purpose of me doing this Taylor Warp. However... It made gonna very long. Even if this game reaches one year or two years, I will eventually get some 300 pulls in this Stellar Warp just to get one of the 5 star characters such as Himeko, Welp, Bronya, which is I already have, Jeopard, Clara, um, Yanxing, and Bailu. So right now, I'm just only pull 10 of them. And as you can see, if I can do view details, if this recorder survives, I've just only recorded exactly 10 of it. Most of which are just 3 star light cones, except on this one that is only sil silence remains, a 4 star light cones. Which is here in this Stellar Warp banner, by the way. And in the next page, I got Asta as the very first Stellar Warp pulls in it. Yes. Maybe for the next time, I'm gonna plan to do Warp times 10 if I needed to. Maybe because of I'm gonna do some task. Some missions or whatsoever. Or maybe if I'm in need of kind of more light cones to super impulse. Or maybe I need more characters. But to be honest, I prefer to wise penly. Once in once Jing Yuan's banner and his light cone called Brilliant Fixation expires. Then I'm gonna do the Honkai Star Rail Warp video featuring that new character only. I mean the new character who is coming in the upcoming version 1.1 update on May 26, 2023. Am I right? This is gonna be very fun and excitement during the Honkai Star Rail version 1.1. I'm not good at explaining but trust me, 
this is gonna be very exciting one. So, stay tuned for the Hongkai Star Rail upcoming live stream coming from the same date at the same time by clicking the link below in the description. Unless I know how to edit to type a uh, YouTube description though. So, yes. I, I did manage to play this game for one month straight. And I have very fun in playing this game in it. The story is so cool. Uh, yeah, I really love the story in it. I've also even finished the World 1. And finish the Yarilo 6 mission. Now I'm currently in Zhang Xiao Lu Fu Quest. That is the third world that we trailblazers to explore upon. This is gonna be much fun. And yes, I guess that is all for explaining about why I'm planning to do this Stellar Warp Summon series with Honkai Star Rail, explaining the details about the characters appearing in this banner. I'm also explaining about version 1.1, and I also briefly explaining about my experience in this game when. I'm venturing the both Hertha Space Station and Yarilo 6. So maybe next time, I'm gonna try to explore the Zhang Zhao Lufu but I need to focus on racing characters. I have, I believe I currently have uh, 11, 11 characters I have. Maybe if I know how to count correctly. So, um, yes, I have currently 11 with Ting Yun as the latest because she was recruited in Jing Yuan's banner. So, maybe for the next video, either I'm going to summon for the new character that that is coming out on June 6 or maybe the second episode of Stellar Warp but suddenly this is gonna be the longest Stellar Warp video ever which is actually no summons by the way so my apologies for the inconveniences so I guess please stay tuned for the next episode then so Thank you for watching and take care everyone.